What made Marcus Mariota the most dominant quarterback in his day? One of the most dynamic players that I've ever seen on a football field. We're going to diagnose it coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite quarterbacks from Pac-12 history, and it was recent history. It's Marcus Mariota, University of Oregon. This guy was an absolute baller, and he had several things that came together to make him a phenomenal football player. It was in a day and age where the spread style, the RPO, the zone read were really just coming into vogue and teams were just being able to use them kind of, they hadn't even fully fleshed out what those offenses would do in the RPO game, but they were starting to use these concepts and they were stretching defenses all over the field. You put that together with what Mariota had going for him in terms of talent and you had a special mix. Before I get started and hit the film, make sure if you haven't done so yet, if you're new to the channel, that you subscribe and ring that bell. Get notified every time we have new stuff coming out. Give me a thumbs up, hit the like button down below, and of course, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. So what made Mariota special? One, he had pure physical talent. He, at one time it was reported, ran a 4-3-40. So in terms of speed, he was probably the fastest quarterback in America that was actually a passer. He could outrun DBs. He could outrun any linebacker in the Pac-12 at the time. And he had the ability to get out of trouble in the pocket. He could also throw the ball like a pocket passer. Now, Oregon didn't do a ton of straight drop back passing. A lot of their passing game came off of zone read schemes, RPO schemes, run action passes, uh, and different things that they set up that just put incredible stretches on defenses. And so 2014 was Mariota's senior year. Coach Mark Helfrich was the guy at the helm for Oregon. And he was running Chip Kelly's, or a version of Chip Kelly's offense with all the different zone stretches, zone reads, RPOs, run game, run action pass, play action pass, and some drop back pass sprinkled in. He had Royce Freeman and Travis Tyner as tailbacks. He had a bevy of fantastic receivers. But another thing that made Oregon so special was that they had a road grader of an offensive line. And you're going to see on the film in just a second how good these guys were. Take all that, put it together, Oregon's got dudes across the board, and you end up with the season for a quarterback where Marcus Mariota is a 68% passer, throwing for 4,450-some-odd yards, 40-plus touchdowns, and only four interceptions. An incredible year for an amazing college quarterback. And everybody I've talked to who played with him, both in college and in the NFL, absolutely loves him. Says he's a fantastic leader, fantastic dude and a great teammate. So you put all that together, one of my favorite Pac-12 quarterbacks of the past. This footage is courtesy of Cal Football. Thank you to the Bears. And let's take a look at what Mariota was like in his last season playing college football. We talked about that Oregon offensive line, and these cats up here were absolutely dominating. On the year, Oregon averaged 234 yards on the ground per game. Royce Freeman had like 1,350 yards rushing the football. And so you had to honor the run. Remember, you talk to any coach in college football, and they tell you the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stop the run, unless they're playing Mike Leach, in which case they have to figure out how to stop the pass. But watch this run action pass here. You can see Mariota give the sweep fake to the right. Everybody, run action. This is not play action. This is run action. They are looking like they are run blocking on that sweep. Mariota pulls it, and what he ends up with is essentially – a smash concept. One guy in the flat, one guy over the top, but with all the flow going this way on defense, he ends up hitting this corner route up top, rolling to his left. Look at right here. Everybody is heading this direction. He's already pulled that ball. Even the safety down low, he bit. So when this comes out of the top, it's golden. This sits in the flat. Corner has to honor it. This is a strike. And Mariota, because he's so physically talented, rolling to his left, gets those shoulders around and absolutely rips it. That's execution. That is outstanding scheme. 
and it's based on having an incredible run game. Now watch this flow from the back end. A little sweep action. Everybody honors it. And Mariota throws an absolute strike down the pipe. That's how you throw it. That's how you operate. And you, when you have to honor the run game like that, it opens up things for a mobile quarterback. Now Oregon comes back with a little sprint action pass. They're going to roll to the right. Cal actually does a nice job of cutting Mariota off up front. They cover the deep one. They cover the flat route right here. And so he's got nowhere to go with it. Defensive end actually does a nice job of getting upfield and keeps contained to start. But when he dips back underneath, watch Mariota reverse course and get a huge gainer. And this is where that speed came in. You can't hem him in because he's so talented, so fast. Right here, they should have him. He should be dead to rights as a quarterback, covered, covered, backside, nothing going here. So he should be done. Cal's closing in, got a linebacker in pursuit. They've got him cut off to the front side. This guy had just come back underneath, and that's what undoes this play. They don't have contain on the backside. Watch Mariota turn around, turn on the Jets, and literally just outrun everybody. Now, there are some dudes on this Cal defense who ended up playing for years in the league. So there are some talented players on Cal's defense. Mariota just outran them all, third and looks like seven. And he ended up getting an extra couple of yards for the first down. Now, here's a zone read where they're just blocking zone front side. And you're going to see this tight end type H back stacked in behind the tackle. He's literally going to sit on the tackle's hip and push kind of a, a double team here. As the linebacker comes inside, he's going to get up inside to take on that backer. Mariota is reading this player. When he commits, to take on run, plug that backside hole for the zone cutback. Mariota pulls it and picks up about eight yards on the run. Again, new schemes, stuff that teams weren't seeing a ton of. A quarterback with as much ability as his running backs to run the football, and he can throw it. There was nothing you can do on defense and be right when you give a quarterback a choice like this. So watch right here. As soon as this linebacker commits to plugging that backside zone cutback, you can see this H-back literally come off and take that backer in the hole. Boom. Hat on a hat. Mariota breaks off a big chunk. Eight-yard run on first down. Another fantastic play. And no matter what you do on that play as a defensive player, you can't be right. Now you add in the fact that he's got the arm of a drop-back passer and can sling it from the pocket. And you're going to get... Three verts here from Oregon. Cal's playing cover four. He's going to sit down this hole. And then a comeback on the outside. Mariota, from the right hash, ends up slinging that comeback to the field and throws a P on a line. So now we're talking 4-3 speed, escape ability, the ability to throw on the run, zone read concepts, RPO concepts. Oh, yeah, and he can throw like an NFL drop-back passer. Just rips a seat out there and breaks off another huge chunk. So by now, you're probably starting to get the picture of why he was so unstoppable in college, why he won the Heisman. Because he could throw it like an NFL quarterback. He could run it like an NFL running back. He had schemes that teams were still trying to figure out on offense and he was a fantastic leader. We'll take a look at a couple more clips, and then we'll close this thing out. On top of all the other assets, being able to move, being able to run, watch as his line here gives him about six hitches. These guys give him all the time in the world to throw this football. If you have this kind of time as a quarterback, there's really nothing a defense can do. You can't ask secondary to cover for six, seven seconds downfield. Somebody's going to get open. So watch. Play action, drop, that's one hitch, two, three, four, five, and he escapes the pocket and finds somebody open. You cannot ask DBs to cover for that long. It's almost impossible. Watch that again, slow-mo, how many hitches he gets in the pocket while he's looking downfield trying to survey. 
just four verts with the wheel to the outside to the field. And play action. Drop one, two, three, four, five hitches to escape. And then gets it back on a runaway underneath. Just impossible to cover for that long. And finally, we talked about concepts in the run game. Chip Kelly also used a ton of great concepts and counter concepts in the passing game, and Mark Helfrich was really good at it as well as an offensive coordinator. In this case, Oregon used to run the snag to death. So you got that three underneath. You're looking one, two, three over the top. But they also use the counter concepts off of it as well. And so in this case, you're going to see the tight end release, stutter, and take the middle. You're going to see a whip underneath and a drag across. Mariota sees it, knows the tight end is going to come open at the top, and drops an absolute airmail package right down the middle of the field. And it really had two open guys that time. But when you're looking for snag, when you can find the mismatches, when you get a big body on a safety in press as a quarterback, and they have to worry about the running game and everything else that Mariota brings, it's just the entire package. One, two, three, looking front side, comes back, finds his tight end over the middle, and that's stealing. So you can see Mariota was the entire package as a quarterback. Speed, accuracy, arm strength, the ability to move in the pocket, concepts in terms of the run game, great talent around him, an incredible offensive line, and, of course, great concepts in the passing game. With all that going his way, it was inevitable that he was going to be a phenomenal college quarterback. Like I said, one of my favorites, not a bear, played at Oregon, but he was fantastic to watch and was truly the most valuable player to his team in that year in college football. If you like what I did here today, make sure you subscribe, ring that bell. That way you get notified every time we have new stuff coming out. Give me a thumbs up, smash that like button down below, and of course, comment. I would love to hear your comments on this. Once again, thanks to Cal Football for the footage. I appreciate you watching. I always love talking about quarterback play, great quarterbacks in the history of the game, and love talking college football. I'll talk to you again soon.